there! Um, today I'm gonna be talking about contouring and highlighting and I'll demonstrate to you how I contour and highlight my own face and then I'll be letting you know how you can alter that to suit your facial features. But first I'm gonna be talking you through what different kinds of contouring and highlighting there are. So there are the powder ones and then there are uh, cream ones. And I prefer to use more powder ones because I've got... Well, my face gets oily during the day. I do use this Fit Me concealer as a highlight as well. It's more like a... it's not a wax-based... Um, like a highlight color, it's more of this liquid consistency. So this one doesn't make your face that oily. And I usually, I'm gonna show you how I use it. So first I'm applying it under the eyes and I use this as a concealer as well for under the eyes because I don't really need that heavy coverage under there. And I'm drawing on like this triangle shape and then I usually use this Miracle Makeup Blender and blend out the... to blend out the color. You could also use your fingers or a, a brush for this but I just prefer to use this one. I think it gets more blended and you get it puffed really well into the skin. <laughs> so the under eyes are done and uh, I'm using this product on all the places that are like the high points on my face and where the light hits first. Well it depends on your like own face if you feel like there is some place that you don't want to highlight even more then you don't have to apply this there but I'm just applying it on the cheek and on the nose. My nose is a little bit crooked. It go, goes slightly this way. So I'm just um, drawing the line a little bit the other way. And then I'm taking it up on the forehead. I usually put pretty heavily of the highlight here in the middle because I've got like a what a, a little bump here so <laughs> always where you put the lighter shade it gets pushed outwards and then when you put a shadow somewhere it gets pushed inwards I hope I'm making some sense <laughs> ask if there's any questions and then you could also highlight the cupid's bow, but I usually use only a shimmer highlight there. So next I'm gonna be applying this Lumina Longwear Blur powder. You get more coverage with this one. You don't need to put this heavy powder on if you don't like. I just like a little bit more coverage. And I'm first applying this one all over the face and then I'm going in with a almost white or really light loose powder that I'm going to apply on the highlighted areas. Okay and this next step is optional. I usually like to do this on the weekends or like when there's something special and I need to have my makeup on long or well if I just want a more flawless look but I wouldn't wear this every day because it's a little bit heavy on makeup and I'm just applying loose powder I'm using Isadora translucent powder and I'm packing it on under the eyes I'm not gonna let it sit today I usually when I do my eye makeup I let the powder sit underneath as long as I do the makeup so all the fallouts can fall on the powder and then I can just wipe it off. But as my eye makeup is already done, I'm just gonna... 
buff this powder in. I'm also applying it on the chin and on the nose and forehead. And then I'm also applying it on the, how would I say, under where my contour is going to be. <laughs> So this powder is basically working as a matte highlight color and then we're applying also a shimmery highlight later okay and I'm gonna get, let these ones be here for a while and then I'm gonna dust them off and now I'm gonna be applying bronzer first before contouring because I want to make my face more warm on the outer parts and then the contour blends in much easier as well and well I'm using this Rimmel natural bronzer it broke I already bought a new one but I thought I would use this one first I'm not gonna be so neat of where I'm applying this I'm just warming up on the outer edges of my face I'm taking it down on the neck because my foundation is much darker than my own skin tone and I prefer it like that so <laughs> that's why I usually take the foundation down on the neck and the bronzer because I hate to be very pale there's nothing wrong with being pale but I just don't like the way it looks on myself. Mm -hmm. Next I'm taking this makeup store micro shadow. This is in the shade Smog and it's a little bit colder in the shade and darker than my bronzer. And one thing you should know is do not use bronzer as a contour shade because contouring is meant to be like shadowing your face so a bronzer is not well the shadow is not brown like a bronzer so then it's just gonna look very unreal and when you're applying the contour you should again think about your own face how you want it to look or what kind of features you have where you put the contour shade if you put it on the hairline it makes your um, like forehead shorter so if you have a really short forehead then you should avoid put it in, putting it in on the hairline <laughs> yeah or if you want it want to put it in the hairline then I would suggest you put it like right next to the hairline and don't bring it in very far and you can also alter the look of your nose with contouring how you want want it to look but I wouldn't make it like anything anything too crazy but just if like for example if you got a little bit of a crooked nose you can make it look more straight and if you think you've got a very like big nose in the end or something you can alter that as well with highlight and contouring and for example I got like my nose is pretty narrow up here and then it gets like this ball here <laughs> so then I like to like apply the uh, contouring normally up here and then I make it a little bit slightly smaller and oh yeah and then if you want to like narrow your face then you, you can contour here under the cheekbone Oh my god, I look bold. Mm. And then we're gonna contour the chin area. I feel like the cream contours give a more natural look when you contour the nose but as my nose gets really oily it's not 
doesn't stay on that long which is unfortunate then here when I come to the end of the nose the tip of the nose I always say the end of the nose it's like the end of the nose the tip of the nose I go like on this side where um, where it's like crooking and I make the line straight from here and then on this side I make it a little bit further and for the shimmer highlighter I'm using this bait eye color from Kix and this is called Milky Way so I'm first applying on the bridge of the nose a line here and then I'm just putting a little dot right here because my nose naturally goes a little bit like this but if you have like a bump on the nose or something that you want to that you want to cover or you want it to be more like a flat like the surface then you can on the place where you have the bump you can put the shimmery highlight on and then it will bring it more up outwards and the shimmer makes the nose look instantly much uh, na more narrow and then I'm applying the highlight on the cheekbones with this feathery brush and then I'm also applying it on the chin a little bit and on the cupid's bow and then I've also applied it under the eyebrows when I did the eye makeup you could also apply this on the forehead but I feel like it always gets so oily around there so I'm not applying it and after this I'm going to apply the eyeshadows underneath and the blush and then I'll be right back okay so here you have the finished look I hope you learned something new today and thought this was helpful and I'll see you next time